Oh, the show is going really good. It's amazing to see it on the, on the big screen. Vancouverites watching the 80th Golden Globes at the Rio Theatre, featuring a bit of trivia between commercial breaks. Meryl Streep, come on down. I find the Golden Globes is a more casual event. It's just people who wouldn't necessarily be attending a party to watch it. Everyone comes together in the Rio and it creates this uh, large size living room atmosphere. The award show came back to the small screen Tuesday night after being criticized for diversity and racism last year. I, I won't say they were a racist organization, but they didn't have a single black member until George Floyd died. So do with that information what you will. Host Jared Carmichael, known for his comedy shows on HBO, so taking a dig tour. at the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, which puts on the award show. The Golden Globes has been criticized for corruption, among other things. I'm very not up to date because it's not relevant to my life. It doesn't influence even myself, who's involved in the arts and entertainment industry. That being said, the cancellation of the Golden Globes last year, it makes sense. Honestly, like it didn't come to me as a surprise. It, it, it just kind of shows the power of the people, um, like political movements especially in the time of the pandemic. People have more time to think, more time to sit with themselves, to realize, like, what are these institutions doing? The HFPA has made commitments to improve its member diversity from top to bottom and has underlined its code of conduct on taking bribes. Well, I usually follow the Oscars, but then uh, once in a while, if a movie is nominated or if it wins a Golden Globe, I do watch it. In Vancouver, Kirju Naus, City News.